In this video, I'm going to go over the Builder All free trial. Hey there, my fellow awesome entrepreneurs. If you already know what Builder All is all about and simply want your free trial, click the link in the description to get started. The free trial is not offered by Builder All itself, so you can only get it through affiliates. So click the link below. I will send you your seven day quick start guide to showing you how to use the tools and build a strong online presence during your free trial period. If you want to learn more about the tools, stick around and I will be going over some of the tools now. Just a quick warning though, Builder All is seriously underpriced and it wouldn't surprise me if they raise the price for new users very soon. So I would advise not just getting the trial, but also upgrading as soon as possible. Okay, so now I'm going to go through some of Builder All's many features. Okay, so I'm just on the Builder All dashboard right now, and this is the main dashboard that you come to when you log in. If you ever want to come back here, you just click the Builder All icon here. This is also where they're going to post any updates, so you can see there's a mailing boss update right here. And if we scroll down, there's all the quick access to all of the tools and stuff included. So you've also got all your stats here, how many websites and blogs you've got, your unique subscribers, how many email lists and leads you've got for the affiliate program. So this is a relatively new account that I've opened. So you can see I've only got a couple of leads so far. But if we come up here, it's where your badges are. So you get badges for inviting people to the program, uh, building so many websites and stuff like that. And here is the launch alert. So you can actually tell the company about a launch that you're doing and they will actually help you with it. So you can tell them a little bit about your launch and submit it and they will actually help you out with that, which is really cool. I don't know many companies that do that. And right here we've got notifications. So if you've made any commissions or there's new tutorials, then this is where that will be. If we come into this area here, we've got the account info, which will tell us all about our account when it's due to renew, um, if you can change your password and stuff like that and then there's the tags for the auto tag funnels that's a little bit more advanced we're not going to go over that right now but in a nutshell it basically so you can share funnels with people and it pulls information here into your funnels and email sequences but that's a little bit advanced we're not going to go into that right now so if we come back onto the main dashboard you can see all the tools that we've got available here the quick start is a Awesome training, which is set to get you set up with the program as soon as possible. Click here if you want to go to the Facebook group. If you're a builder or business owner, it will take you to the business group. If you're a regular user, 29 plan, it will take you to the business, uh, the builder or English group. Sorry. The YouTube channel has all the tutorials and stuff and updates and cool stuff like that. And you can click here to get support. And if you have notifications enabled, when you first log in, it will ask you whether you want notifications or not. And if you do have them enabled, then you can disable them right here. So that's a quick overview of the dashboard itself. All the tools here are down here, the builders, the email, and we're going to go through them step by step in a moment. So if we first come into the builders, we've got the drag and drop pixel perfect builder. Now this is the flagship product. This is the main product that they're putting most of their focus into the drag and drop pixel perfect. It is the most complete website builder on the market. There's no other website builder like it. And I don't know of any other website builder that can do as much as the pixel perfect does. There's a lot of tools included in it. You can build blogs, you can build e-com stores, you can build, uh, it includes checkouts. You can build funnels, you can build all sorts of stuff. So we're coming to the pixel perfect here. You can see you've got lots of pre-built sales funnels. If I click on this, there's a number of different sales funnels and you can click on any of the funnels it will show you exactly how to use the funnel a complete blueprint for using the funnel so really quick really easy really simple and you can see it's actually got a video tutorial of the funnel itself and the blueprint here and then you can just select some of them have more than one template and then you just edit template it opens up the editor so you can just edit it right there and there's thousands of these templates not the sales funnel templates, but there's thousands of website templates that you can use for any business, any kind of website that you want to build, that you can build it with the website builder, the Pixel Perfect. So this is the Pixel Perfect dashboard. You can see we've got a lot of tools around here that I'm going to go over. So 
when you first start off you're going to have desktop view and you're going to have mobile view and you can edit both so what that means is you can have certain aspects on the desktop version and certain on the mobile because when you're using mobile you don't want to load all the massive images the big videos and everything else that goes on uh, desktop because people on desktop generally have a lot more bandwidth it's a lot faster so you want to and they think differently as well so you want to produce a different user experience depending on whether they're on desktop or mobile so click between these and you can edit the desktop and mobile versions and the enable and disable drop makes it glow when you hover over something so I'll just show as an example see now it shows where it's going to be dropped into so we disable that again and this changes the size of the canvas that you're working with so it's set to default as 1280 i believe yeah 12 uh, 1240 sorry and then we can change it to 990 so just if you want a smaller pixel to work with this is the old setting and this is the new setting because most browsers accommodate 1240 so coming across here we can see all of the pages that are in the funnel or in the website so you can easily jump between the pages and edit them here without having to go into the add page this button here changes the color of the border so if you see here the outside is green and you can change it so if someone's colorblind or something or just if you want a different color and the backlight is mainly for the mobile so I'll swap to mobile quickly to show you it changes the backlight so if you've got say I think this is around the same color so you can barely see that so if you've got some elements on the side of the page and they're hidden because of the color you can change this to reveal them now this next button is the hidden icon so if you want something to show on the desktop or show on the mobile you'll hide it from here and then it will show up right here and then you can simply click the arrow to restore it and these two buttons are self-explanatory undo and redo and the ruler is the little pixel ruler that we have around here used for lining things up it's really handy if you're making a table or something like that um, the grid lines are your safe areas so if we swap back to desktop now the grid lines it means that this will definitely be shown in all browser sizes um, all resolution sizes sorry so if you have something with 800 pixels it's definitely going to be shown here anything outside of that it might be it might not be shown on all resolution screens the next button allows us to preview our work so we can just preview and see how it looks on the uh, live website and obviously save is self-explanatory you can save it and the first time you save you're going to want to name it so name it test I've probably already got that so test 12 and then it will show you what you've changed and then you'll save And the last button up here is the control panel and that shows you all of the apps that you're currently using in this website there's none on this particular website yet so you won't see anything there at the moment so moving on to this side this is where all of the editing and pretty much everything else is so this top panel here is for your page and layout it's also where most of the search engine settings are so if we come into this layout you can see all of the pages for the layout this is where you can create a membership area this is all the settings for the layout itself you can change the favicon the title the description add some keywords meta tags add some scripts and everything else so everything to do with seo is right here and this is where you can change your fonts for the layout so you can add and change fonts right here and you can select which font style you want for the layout and this is where you can change the background you can add video backgrounds or image backgrounds 
uh, right here and change them for mobile and desktop. And this is where you can delete your layout. So coming into the pages, you can come deeper into the pages here by clicking configure. And there's very similar. This is just saying this because I haven't configured the email form. But these are very similar you can duplicate with this one here you can transfer to another layout here you can create a split test and track how many people have come to your website and uh, set up conversions here and again the background is this green one here so you can also configure the pop-up for the page so if you've created a pop-up you can have it trigger on page load uh, on scrolling exit pop-up or just after a certain amount of time has elapsed so again here's all your SEO settings for the page itself um, you can also have a share image for the social networks um, so yeah you can add pages and add layouts here as well great thing about builder all is they actually have done for you legal page templates obviously they need a bit of um, editing to fit into your business but they have templates here that you can use so disclaimers privacy policies stuff like that and you can just add pages um, from here you can also add layouts and pages from your other websites as well so really cool really easy to do uh, moving on to the next one this is what i explained a minute ago the groups the different text groups so all of them have headings if you're into seo at all you'll know the importance of headings so build rule is actually very SEO friendly, which is what I like about it. You can rank for low search words, uh, search keywords in literally minutes, quite high up. So very good for SEO. Um, we come into the next one here, and this is where all of your elements are. Literally everything is in this tab right here. So you can create the pop up that we talked about earlier, um, add text, the auto funnels tags we were talking about. So if you want to share something with a friend and have it pull their information from their account, their affiliate links, their name, stuff like that, if they want to personalize it, you can just send it to them and it auto personalizes it for them. So they don't even have to go in and edit it. They can just put in a couple of variables in that area that I showed you earlier and it will pull it straight from the, uh, the account, which is really, really, really awesome. I love that feature so much. Um, so here we've got banners and the awesome thing about banners, I'm actually going to go into the banners because there's so many different banners. There's just normal banners, which uh, have pictures or blank backgrounds. Uh, you can have video banners and then there is tons of template banners. So if you want to add just a part of a page to one of your existing pages and not the rest, there is loads of templates in here. You can see there's contact forms, there's pricing tables, there's about us, um, there's top of page templates, um, benefits lists, call to actions, checkouts, contents, features, just so much. There's so many templates in here. It's really, really awesome. You, you literally can create a thousand different combinations of pages with these uh, banner templates. And then at the bottom here, there is whole pages that you can just um, pull in. So there's video sales pages, sales letters, upsell pages, um, order forms and everything. So yes, just tons of stuff you can pull in. And not many people actually know about this. Um, it's quite an under-discussed um, hidden little gem inside Builder All I've found. So yeah, really, really cool next is boxes and lines and that's not as glamorous i'm afraid you get your simple boxes your lines and the boxes with tabs and accordions is pretty cool so you could use this for membership sites with lots of content and scrolling through the boxes uh, same for the accordion stuff so that just pushes the footer and stuff further down the page when you open it which is pretty cool um, so there's a number of different buttons and icons you can use and login buttons for the membership site and 
there's a ton of images as well, image templates. Um, so you can have loads of different image effects. It doesn't show you all the different effects, but if you come in here, you can see all of the different effects. So you can see there's quite a few effects, seven different effects. And um, then there's a gallery, so you can have sliding gallery, moving gallery, all sorts of different galleries and uh, menus, different kinds of menus, vertical, horizontal, and all, all different kinds of styles. You can also add YouTube, Vimeo, Videlo, loads of other audio and video stuff in there. And if the program that you want to add into the site builder isn't there, if we come down to apps, there is add HTML and this accepts all kinds of HTML, CSS and stuff like that. So any kind of code that you've got, you can put into this box, um, like checkouts or um, chatbots or anything. Uh, you can put it straight into this add HTML box here. So I'm going to speed up a little bit through this because there's so many uh, boxes and I don't want to bore you too much with all of the elements. So next we've got social and all the social buttons we can add our likes, shares, recommends, uh, Twitter, Instagram, Google+, social bars, LinkedIn, Tumblr. And the contact form is a really cool tool that you can use to send data to external websites um, or send surveys and questionnaires to your own email addresses. So that's really cool. And the email marketing form is the basic email form that you see here. There's lots of different styles. You can style it however you want. And that connects to the mailing bus autoresponder, which we're going to go over in just a little while. Uh, there's animated counters as well, so animated counters, bars and charts, and in the apps we can customise our PayPal buttons, integrate the webinar, yes, Builderall has a webinar tool as well, how crazy is that? I mean, literally webinar tools, you're looking at like $100 a month just for a webinar tool, and an e-learning tool as well, so basically a course creation tool, um, like Thinkific or something like that, so literally... Those two tools alone worth four times the cost of the highest price of build rule. Just absolutely insane value. Uh, so GDPR, if you're in Europe, you need GDPR. And yes, build rule is fully GDPR compliant. It has all the tools to make all of your sites GDPR compliant as well. So really, really cool. Um, anchor. So if you want to anchor a um, part of a page, you click the anchor and say you have a menu at the top saying home. Uh, info and you can link it to the info and it will scroll straight down to that anchor point uh, the review tool is another tool inside build rule we'll get into that a little bit later as well but um, basically the review tool is really cool because instead of all of the seo juice for lack of a better word going to facebook or some other chat review tool it actually goes to your website. So all of the comments, the SEO juice goes to your website instead of Facebook. So really cool. And then there's Shopify if you want to integrate Shopify, OpenTable if you're creating sites for restaurants or something like that. And Amazon coupon code so you can literally generate coupon codes with this generator and um, have people activate and redeem them on the website with the system that they've got built in like i said there's literally i don't know any other site builder which has so many apps and can do so many things it truly is the most complete website builder on the market today and the builder or marketplace so that's just like a giant marketplace where people can sell their stuff you can apply to be an affiliate for stuff and um, you can upload your own products to be sold there as well um, so the hover elements, uh, a bit like the images, so these were some of the images that I was thinking of, image effects. So these are hover effects on images and uh, icons. So yeah, loads of those you can use, make your website look really cool. And timers, so if you've got some scarcity going, you've got a launch which is going to end, you can add some timers. And the checkout app, of course, you can have a three-step checkout, 
which goes through the offer and then the login and confirm good for membership stuff and then you've got the two-step checkout which is for um, like two-step order forms for free plus shipping offers and stuff like that then you've just got the basic one-step checkout for normal uh, purchases and you can also integrate JVZoo and Clickbank as well so next is the sales funnel you can use the, this website builder as well as a complete sales funnel with one click up sales um, and down sales so really awesome once you get that set up it's not very hard to set up you can have a fully functioning uh, physical product funnel with one click up sales one click down sales really really awesome and last but not least in this area is the blog apps and you have to add a blog to your site to activate that so I'm gonna add a blog real quickly just to show you that so we cover everything and here we go one click and the blog is there so here's your default blog posts and your categories and it's all set up literally in just one click so if we come to the blog apps now there's all sorts of different blogs so if you want to categorize stuff so people can search for stuff a lot easier you can have the news slider news feed and of course it's got rss as well so you can publish what you publish on the blog to social networks or anywhere else where you can add an rss feed and uh, yeah loads of stuff for the blog so really really cool so we now come into the settings and SEO and this is the GDPR configuration I was telling you about so you can customize it and select pop-ups for the GDPR so no cookies are stored on people's devices without them explicitly accepting and the sitemap will allow you to submit it to Google to uh, improve your SEO so that's really good like I said S uh, Build Raw was created with SEO in mind first and foremost and it's really good with SEO so we come into the website settings you can change the tablet and mobile versions the tablet is set to off automatically because I think less than 1% of traffic is on tablet and the mobile and desktop will just scale into each other as well when you have the use scale for devices enabled so the tablets not necessary it's just there because it was there in the beginning so you can have the reply to email for stuff like checkout orders and stuff going out like that you can change the app language I think there's like 30 plus languages or something now that build has been translated into so the stuff on the checkouts the stuff on memberships login pages default login pages and stuff like that you'll be able to change the language for that right here um, this is just the little separator that you can put in between the SEO for uh, the title for the page and the layout and then you can change the tab color for mobile which is just for Android users so coming to user management and this is where all your users will be if they've signed up to a membership site or purchased something um, you can change the custom fields so you can add custom fields here if you want to collect more data and you can also download it from here if you want to download it into a CSV or something like that so the manage user registration is exactly the same thing I just showed you here just a different way to get to it uh, the coupons configuration is where you can add the list of coupons for the Amazon coupon generator which I was showing you earlier and the manage action counters is for when you're monitoring how many times a button has been clicked and tracking actions within the um, website so if we come to the image because we can use the image just as an example as a as if it's a button or something so if you come into action you can choose all these different actions for images buttons and stuff like that and then if we come into the page for example and select a different page then we can change the click analytics here and have the action count as showing how many times that has been you can also embed HTML if you want to put pixels and stuff in the actual button itself so that's it for this tab and this tab we have the checkout so we can add our payment 
information here. Right now there's PayPal, Stripe, Braintree, Authorize, and we can all uh, integrate JVZoo and ClickBank as well. There's gonna be many more coming as well, and I know that Builderall is actually bringing out their own payment method and debit card very soon. They're just waiting on the bank right now, which is gonna be really awesome. Cannot wait for that. No more PayPal fees. So the sales manager is where people have bought. You've got the status, whether they've paid or not, the amount they've paid, um, and their information. You can also export that into an Excel spreadsheet as well. And then the automated email and external platform email is for when someone's purchased, they'll receive a confirmation email and you can schedule follow-up emails if for like cart abandonment and stuff like that. So that's really cool. And then there's the sales funnel, so you can set up sales funnels just like we talked about earlier. So you can add a new offer, select the thank you page, and then on the next page it will uh, show the flow of the funnel and you can set up the products that go through the funnel. Uh, you can also set webhooks as well. So if you're using Zapier or something else, you can have the information from the checkouts and stuff sent to an external place, which is really awesome, really, really handy. And then there's the coupons for the offers as well. So if you have a discount for certain people who have a coupon code, you can have like 10% off and they can put it into the checkout. Um, so this is the blog that we saw earlier. The blog manager has all of the blog posts. You can um, create all of your new blog posts and schedule it. And the e-commerce is still in beta right now. I know it is literally a whisper whisper away because it's just been released fully for beta testers today. So we're going to create store, select the layout, and boom, we've got the store already made. And then we can just add the showcase, the products, and change everything here. So yeah. So before we finish with the site builder, I want to come on to the importance of the right click. The left click is pretty much used for just moving stuff around, dragging something, an element from place to place. So right click is where it's at. Right click allows you to do everything else. So most of the elements have the same kind of options here, but some of them are very different. Obviously change image is specific to images and external image as well. But the majority of them, and these are prevalent for every single one. So if we start off down here, we can use this button to hide, this one to duplicate, this one to move layers backwards and forwards, and this one to delete the element. And if we want to be really specific on moving to a specific place on the page, then we can put the actual coordinates right here for it to be moved somewhere on the page. So the parallax element is basically, if you don't know what parallax is, it's where a something moves down the page gradually while you're scrolling, but not at the same speed as what you're scrolling as, basically. Uh, the tag attribute is an advanced feature, so you can add tags to like mailing boss lists and stuff when they click on um, buttons and stuff like that. So enable full screen click is just for images. Again, so if you enable that, people can click on it and it pushes the image uh, bigger to full screen and center element self-explanatory it centers it on the page pin element you can pin an element anywhere on the page or to the border uh, show on all pages is what's default for the header and footer because it will show on all the pages in that layout so if you want it to show on all pages on a specific um, that's not in the header and footer, sorry, you can set that here. And basically you'd use that for like menus or something, if you've got a static menu which isn't in the header or footer that you want across all pages, then you can select it to show on all pages. And the scroll animation is pretty cool where you can actually move things around the page while people are scrolling. So you can have like a fan blow papers all around the page. You can have like a rocket taken off or something like that as people scroll down the page, which is pretty cool. And hover effects is basically so you can change something like um, to black and white or make it fade out or fade in, stuff like that when the mouse hovers over it. 
animation is basically if you want something to animate so you can have fading in effects spinning in spinning out um, and just all sorts of cool effects as well so that's pretty cool um, I'll show you what animation is quickly so you can have it you can have like wobble um, bouncing you can have all sorts of stuff there's quite a few to choose from and you can choose when it happens so if it, when it appears on the page when you click the element when the mouse is over the element when the mouse leaves the element and you can have it on a timer so a certain amount of minutes seconds hours after the page is loaded and um, yeah that's pretty cool so edit image title again is just for images so that's for seo purposes action is on most things like buttons images stuff like that and you can have the action set to an email a page an external web address for mobile phones you can have it pop up the mobile phones dialer and dialer number you can attach documents you can do pop-ups anchors videos uh, payments push notifications insert your own javascript code you can have transitions so transition in between different pages if you're doing like a webinar or a slideshow something like that you can add calendar and you can do checkout offer so loads and loads of things you can do on an action and hover is again an image based one so you can enable the hover effect and it basically has that effect that we saw in the elements earlier and transparency speaks for itself external image is the url of the image so if you want to use it somewhere else uh, you can get like your domain slash this is my image url and so on and so forth and then you can change the image and um, upload images and grab images which are included in builder rules templates and gifs and stuff like that so i just wanted to go over the importance of right click before we ended here in the site builder so what do you think of the website builder there's so many things inside of it it's just crazy absolutely crazy we're going to be moving on to one of the other website builders which we're not going to spend nowhere near as much time on because that is the most comprehensive by far so just going to show you some of the templates quickly so you can see how many thousands there actually is so these are all the categories there's hundreds of categories that you can choose from literally in almost every niche that you can think of and there's just so many you can just quickly view each page if you come here see if you like it and you can edit simply just by clicking edit so the responsive builder is an older builder which they're not working on anymore it's a fully responsive builder but it's nowhere near as comprehensive as the pixel perfect so you can build your websites in there the responsiveness does work but I wouldn't recommend it because the Pixel Perfect has so many more features and it's just so much better. And the mobile first drag and drop builder is just like the drag and drop Pixel Perfect, except it loads with mobile in mind first. So when you first load up a web page, it loads in mobile first. Any um, elements you add in mobile will appear in the desktop and you can hide on the desktop instead of delete and vice versa and the app creator is another awesome addition which allows you to create full mobile apps and if you've got your own app developer store in um, apple or android the play store then you can literally publish straight from builder all onto the app store and be making money from your mobile apps um, very shortly so this is the builder and you can create a new application here so just going to create a test application and it must be at least six characters long so now that's loaded you can see all the different categories that you can use there's a load of different templates so I'm just going to select this one so here's my app and how it looks like and you can see it on the phone 
so this is where you change all of the design and stuff like that and you can choose the fonts for the website and it's going to want to access the files that's fine so then you can change the colors on the next page of the buttons and stuff like that so this is where you can change all the colors for the app all sorts of different pages now this is where all of the features are so you can add all sorts of pages, you can add audio, you can do booking apps, you can do calendar apps, you can have catalogs for e-com stores, um, you can run contests, you can have discount apps, um, you can add all sorts of social media, there's just tons of stuff you can do. And I know there's a lot more coming as well. So you can add an RSS feed, so if you had a blog with an RSS feed you could have like a blog app which publishes your stuff straight from the blog which is pretty cool you can have a Shopify store you can just do so much so once you've done that you do all the technical stuff of the application and the publication and then you send it through to the various networks to get reviewed and it's as easy as that so I'm not going to spend any more time on the mobile app creator now I'm going to be coming to the mailing bus autoresponder now I don't know any other place which includes a mailing bus uh, an autoresponder for so little price it's ridiculous what they're offering for the price on the $49 plan you get unlimited subscribers um, unlimited sending quota and pretty much unlimited everything now, if you were to pay for that in say get response or Aweber you'd be paying hundreds of dollars per month it's absolutely insane value so we're coming into mailing boss here and you can see this is the last list that I worked with so we're coming to the menu here you can see all of your lists and the tools for the list if we come into tools you can sync subscribers to other lists or you can split a list into multiple smaller lists and if we come into campaigns we can see all of the campaigns you will see email sequences contain a series of regular emails and the custom tags is something a lot like the um, auto funnel tags we were talking about earlier so this is a new one for me as well instant messages i haven't seen this one before and this is in beta so they're always adding new tools and new stuff all the time. It's like Christmas every day with Builder All, I swear. <laughs> so I have no idea what the instant messages thing is about, but I assume it has something to do with instant messages. Um, so coming to templates, we can see all the templates in the gallery. And there's loads of different templates you can choose from. So if you want to make your emails look a bit snazzier, you can use a template. And there's lots of them to choose from. So come now into domains, this is where you add your domains and you can verify them. If you've changed the DNS uh, to Build Wars DNS, that will be automatic. But if not, you will have to come into the domain name and add these records into your domain settings. Um, so we can come into sender emails where you can create new emails to be sent from and the API keys is if you want to integrate with someone else's account or if you want to integrate with a uh, external email responder and the automation tab is where you can set up all kind of automation rules so if you are subscribed to one list it unsubscribes from another and so on and so forth there's a load of automation rules that you can use which is pretty cool because um, we all want automation in our business right and then you've got the integration key which is used to integrate with um, the websites so you can input it into the websites to help um, mailing boss use certain aspects of the website if we come into mailing boss here it's going to take us back to the main page that we were on and we can view our subscribers if we come here and that's my email so then we can come into lists and we can see all the various lists that we've got and we can see an overview we can update all sorts of things 
Uh, we can view the subscribers of that specific list. We can change the email pages configuration. So if you've got like double opt-ins and stuff like that, it will show these certain pages and certain emails. So you can edit those and you can duplicate the list and you can import and export lists in and out of the platform. So we can come into campaigns. We can see all the campaigns that we've sent. And if we come into here, this is a draft. So we can update and edit the email right here. And this is just going to show the settings. Is it autoresponder or is it just a one-off email? What sequence does it want to be added to? What list? And a load of other things we can do to send it out to specific segments of a list. We've got who it's coming from and then we've got the template so we can add little snippets and templates from here or we can access our other templates and this is the email that's going to be sent out and the tags that you can use from the auto tag funnels that i showed you about earlier these errors here are just because um, the email is not the validated email with the domain so when we're ready we can save and next then we just set when we want it to send out. So after subscribe or after campaign open. Then we can set it to how many days, how many hours we want it to send out, whether we want it to send us future subscribers or current and future subscribers. And then it just says where it's coming from, who it's coming from and everything else like that. See, that's why it's saying that it won't send out because it's from a Yahoo address. It's not set up with my domain at the moment. And then we just save and activate it. And if we had the correct domain on there, it would save and activate. So we just come back into setup and change the email address to the verified one that you saw in domains earlier. And that'll go out no problem. And the workflow is another cool tool. So you can actually set up a visual representation of your campaigns so you can set a list you can when someone subscribes to a list they get sent out a certain email campaign or an email sequence stuff like that so really cool you can apply tags and uh, instant messages when they come so really cool for people who prefer to do things visually so if we come back to mailing boss you can see all of your usage here which doesn't matter because everything's unlimited anyway and then we can come into here and it tells you all about your business the stuff that you've set up when you first signed into mailing boss you would have set all of this up your email your company your address and everything else like that so that's pretty much it for mailing boss and we're going to come down to the design tabs now. So the design studio is pretty cool in that it can input your pictures and videos into frames. So if we come here, we can see we've got iPads, phones, computers, products, um, billboards, all sorts of stuff where we can add our videos and images into stuff. Just makes it look snazzy, makes it look professional, milk cartons, um, books, uh, all sorts of stuff but it's really cool for making stuff professional professional ebook covers professional um, videos on websites um, and professional products as you saw at the top here you can make a full product um, product cover so I'm just going to come into one of these to show you how to use it quickly so this is a basic one with just one screen so there's only one media box here so you can upload media and it tells you the recommended size for it some of them are obscure and aren't perfect sizes so it will tell you a recommended size so all you need to do is you upload media you select the media and then you can select where you want it to appear in the box you can do this with videos and all sorts and then you can uh, put text and um, whatever you else you want to add here when you're done just click done and then you can see the result and it will render it for you if it's a video or a gif it can take a while so there we go there's our image inside the mac computer and we can download it as different resolutions 
and we can get a GIF if we've got like a video, a uh, five second video, we can turn it into a GIF or something, and then we can share it on Facebook, Twitter, or Pinterest. So if you're going to use this one, you can see that there's a lot more upload medias and it tells you all the different sizes for each thing. So each cover has its own media, the um, CDs have their own media, and then the side of the box has its own media as well. We can also have our own holders, so if you've got your own TV or your own placeholder, you can add your own placeholder in here. And I'll just show you quickly, just as an example, say we're going to use the computer that the Builder or Squid or Octopus is holding. We can add a new border, or we can adjust the border just here. We can also grab the edges if we want to make it smaller. So that's how we use the Design Studio. Now the Presentation Builder is a full presentation builder like um, PowerPoint. So you can build a full presentation in here. You can insert websites and videos and pictures and effects and all that cool stuff. Now, if we come into the Photo Studio, the Photo Studio is a pretty new tool, but it's pretty awesome in what it can do. And it requires you to have the app on your phone, so you can take pictures of an object as it's spinning round, and it appears to be spinning round. So you can have a 3D model of the image, and um, it will look like you're just turning it. So you've got to take a picture of the image using the app, and it does a perfect circle round so it looks like a 3D model. Really cool. So next we've got videos and we've got an animated video builder. So with the animated video editor you can create and edit full animated videos which is pretty cool. So you're going to create a new project. And open. And now we can select a template if we want. You can see some of the templates are pretty cool looking. So I'm going to select that one. And there's a load of animated characters, static characters, animated objects, and all sorts you can add in there. You can add your own music, your own pictures, your own animated stuff, borders, frames, um, and pretty much anything you want. So yeah, so a fully functional animated video tool. Pretty cool. Now if we come into here, there's floating videos, HTML, which is basically where someone can walk on the screen with a completely invisible background. So it uses green screens or blue screens or whatever kind of screens you want to use. So basically you just upload a green screen video, select the area that you want to get rid of, and it makes it look like people are walking in with a completely invisible background just on the page. Now there's a lot of apps and integrations in the Builder All platform. So I might not get through all of them. As you can see, there's a lot of them and I think we're running close to an hour on this video already. So we'll start with browser notifications. So we're gonna start off at the top with the browser notifications. And if you don't know what the browser notifications are, they're basically when you visit a website, a little pop-up comes up in your browser and says this site wishes to send you notifications do you wish to accept and you can accept or not and if you do accept you're going to get pop-up notifications in the bottom hand uh, usually the bottom right hand side of your screen and builder all there's another way you can use them you can actually integrate them into buttons so you can say click here to receive browser notifications you click on the button and then they're added to your browser notification list so we're coming to browser notifications now we're going to create a new campaign. We're going to call it notifications. We're going to put the website URL in, which is grab the URL, put that in the website URL. We can also set it to redirect somewhere after they've subscribed. Choose the size, the title text invite text and we can put an image on there as well so let's just put an image of builder all on there 
and that's how it's going to pop up when someone loads the page. So we click edit, we get all the options that we've just done. So the code is what you're going to want to put in on your site. So if you want it to pop up on page load, you grab the script here, you come into your site and you open up the page and paste it in the head scripts here and then save. So if you want it to pop up by event, so for example, clicking on a button, you copy this into the head section of your site like we just did, and then you copy this into the place where you want your pop-up. Right click and then action. You can come to previous menu and you can go push notifications here. And that's where your script goes right here. So here we can view the subscribers that have signed up and here is where we can send out push notifications to the people who have subscribed so that's a very simple one and if we come here and click to load the website there we go we can see that our desktop notifications has popped up and if I click enable notifications close this window that said success I'm going to be subscribed and then when I send a push notification out here, it's going to pop up just in the right here. So the next tool that we're going to do is the SEO on page report tool. Now this is really cool if you're trying to get your page ranked in the search engines. So if we come to the sales page and say we use headline as the keyword, we're going to paste headline in there and then we're going to copy the URL into there and send. So it's going to analyze the page and it's going to show all your SEO statistics here. So it isn't in the title or the URL or the meta description. We have it in the heading, heading two, heading four and three times in the body. So it shows you a load of SEO tips for your page in critical factors, high relevance factors, and it gives you a detailed description of how you can improve it as well. So you can improve it here, make it turn it up to an A plus grade, and it will have a much better chance of ranking in the search engines. So the next one we're going to do is click map. And this is a heat map for your site. It's a simple code that you put into your website and it shows where people are clicking. So it shows which buttons and which links are getting the most clicks. So if we click add website, we can call it test map grab the url again and you can leave that as it is so now we've added it we can get the code copy the code onto the head page of your website just like before and these scripts can run alongside each other so notice i'm not disabling the other one, not deleting the other one. Save. And then I'm going to come on the live site. Click, 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 click. Just going to click all over the place. Then close. And now you can see where I've clicked live on the site. Literally clicking no and then clicking the button and all the clicks that I've made instantly. So it's really cool for tracking where people have clicked on your site, where people aren't looking and people aren't clicking. Now the next tool is the chat review tool. And the chat review tool is a replacement for the Facebook comments and uh, Disquis, if you know what that is. It's basically where they have the comments at the bottom of a blog or a bottom of a website. And the brilliant thing about the uh, chat with Build Rule is that the SEO juice, for lack of a better word, actually flows into your website and into your domain. When people leave comments on a Disquis comment box or a Facebook comment box, all of that SEO juice goes to Facebook or Disquis. But with the self-hosted chat review on Builderall, it, all of that SEO juice flows into your website, into your domain, making it more SEO friendly. 
So to add that, you can click My Site Reviews, New Review, call it Test Review, Review Description, Status Active, Enable Reviews Active, and apparently I have to enter 80 characters. So there we go. So all we need now is this five digit code right here. We can put it in an HTML box, but there's an app specifically in the site builder to have it built in. If you want to put it on an external website for whatever reason, the code is right there. But if we come into the site builder, come into apps, and then into review, we can get the review tool. and put the ID right here and select English and hit confirm. And then we have the comment box right here. You can make it bigger and on a live site, we can simply type in what we want to type in, add an image and then send. You can use the same chat box for many pages, or you can have a separate chat box for each page of your website or each page of your blog. Okay, so we're gonna create a page. We're gonna add that page to the Build Rule chat bot. Then we're gonna add the Build Rule chat bot to our website. So this is a page of mine. We're gonna create a new page by coming up here, clicking Create, then clicking on Page, and as we're an individual, we're going to create a community or a public figure. You can add your business if you want. It's completely up to you. I usually go with public figure. So James N T add a category entrepreneur continue. And you can add a profile picture if you want. I'm going to skip Add a cover photo if you want, but I'm going to skip. So here you got your new page. And now we're going to come into Build Rule, into the Facebook chat bot, and we're going to continue with Facebook. Continue as James Neville Taylor. Next, allow it to manage and everything like that, that's fine. So you've now linked auto answer to Facebook. And now we're going to import new Facebook page. We're going to choose the page that we just made. And now we're going to come down to flows. And what's really cool about Build Rule is you can import flows from other users. So if you have a public flow that someone's added to the marketplace, you can import it. There's a few at the moment, but there's going to be a lot more that you can import once you've got the codes for them. So there's the Build Rule lead generation bot, there's Build Rule Facebook chat bot, um, Portuguese, uh, and there's the team onboarding Build Rule business. So I'm going to go for the Build Rule lead generation bot and import that. And if we come to edit it, you can see all the steps that you've just imported and it's all set up. You just need to edit a couple of things in there and it's all ready to go out. So for example, if you're promoting Builder Rule, you just come down to the seven day free trial link here and change the link to your own seven day free trial link here. And then you'll have a fully functioning chatbot ready to sell Builder Rule for you. And there's going to be loads more, not just for selling Builder Rule, but for selling all sorts of products that you can just plug and play into it. So we've got that to look forward to. That's going to be really awesome. So now we've got our flow done, we're going to come to Growth Tools and we're going to create new tool. And we're going to create a pop-up. And there should be a button here at the bottom. But I'm thinking because we're in incognito mode that it's not showing up. So I'm going to jump to my actual account now and I'm going to go into the Facebook chatbot on this account and see if it makes a difference. So growth tools, create new tool, test, pop up, James NT. And there we go, it's popped up how it's supposed to now. So here you can edit the header text, the description here, change the button color, and you're gonna to have to save and preview if you want it to update. So I prefer the blue. 
and then you can change all your settings the colors and how it all looks um, this is where it will go after you've submitted so if you want it to go to a thank you page you can have it set to a specific url and again you can edit all of the colors and make it look however you want and this is where the technical side of it comes in you can add them to a certain group if you've set up a group and you can add them to start on a flow so the flow that we imported we can start them at any section in the flow and then we can add tags to them as well so we know where people are coming from so once we're done we can click save and preview and then share and then we can copy this script and we'll come back to the other account and we'll come into this website that we set up the other day and we will create a pop-up and add an HTML box, copy it onto the pop-up, edit and stick this between the heads and there we've got our widget. So now we've got a pop-up widget. We can also make this invisible and get rid of the name so it just looks like the widget is popping up so we can make it invisible and we can get rid of the title and now it's completely invisible so we can just put the pop-up box right here and then you've got your pop-up ready so now I'm going to set the pop-up to pop-up when someone visits the page. So configure pop-up. Pop-up with time after five seconds. And we don't need to worry about the others because we're only on desktop right now. And there's our pop-up, edited straight away, came straight up. So let me send to Messenger. Continue as James Neville Taylor. And there's the thanks for subscribing message. So we should pull that a little bit over, just make it a little bit wider. And it will look fine when someone subscribes then. So if we come back into the pop-up, hide show and then just pull it over a bit so it's a bit bigger and that'll sort that problem out no problem so now if we come back in here there we go we've got the chatbot firing all pre-filled from the template that i downloaded so that's how you set up your Facebook page, integrate it with the Builder or Chatbot, and get the growth tools integrated with your website, ready to go. Simple, easy, effective. So the auto post tool allows you to schedule content. Right now, it's only Facebook that you can use in there, but they're going to be adding more platforms such as Instagram, LinkedIn, and more later on. So to start off, we need to click Account Manager, and then we can add a new account and right now as you can see it's just facebook so we add facebook log in with facebook and it's going to take us to facebook so we can accept the permissions so just the main page that you want to connect to it and now it's linked it will take us back to the auto post tool so here's my page that I just added and now you can schedule content by clicking this button here and then you click in the box to add the content that you want to schedule so you can schedule text image and video up to one gigabyte and up to 20 minutes maximum
So I'm going to add a test post at 2.04 in one minute from now. And it's just ticked over, so put it to 2.05. Add rule. So I'm going to come back to that in just a moment. The next tool that we're going to go over is the share locker tool. Now the share locker tool is a really cool app which allows you to force people to share a piece of content before they can get access to it. So you can force them to either like, share or both. So there's a few different options here and we're going to go through the simplest one which is the basic pop-up. So if we select this and we can put in a title such as share locker and then we need to grab the Facebook page. So I'm going to go over to my Facebook page, Market with James. And as you can see, that test just came through on the Market with James site. So it's working as it should. And now I'm going to grab my URL from up here, type the page, and then share the page. It doesn't have to be the Facebook page. This can be the page that you're actually promoting. So it creates like a viral loop. Whatever page that you put this on, you make that the share page and then someone shares it and then to get access to it, the next person has to share it as well. And here's where you can select like and or share. And then you can just put in an image here. So this is the image that will pop up when someone tries to access the page. And here's another image which is shared onto Facebook when someone shares it. So this is this will be the image of the content that you want and this will be the image telling them to share and like before they can get access so all you need to do is do all of this fill all of this in generate and save and i forgot to put there in so so i have to put some images in so let's put some images in so generate and save and once that's done you'll be brought to this page with the script code to put into the head tag of your website so if we come into the website here and come into the head tags paste and save now if we come back to the website Here it comes, it pops up with the image and you have to like, I already like it so, and then you have to share to get access. So once that's shared, post to Facebook. It opens up the page so you can view it. So really simple but really effective tool if used right. The next tool is the e-learning. So the e-learning app is a full course creation and test platform. So you can create full courses, set pass marks, set teachers, and force people to watch so many minutes of a video before they unlock the next one. So it's a really cool tool which allows you to do all of that, just like any of the top e-learning platforms out there. So I'm gonna show you a little bit about it. So we can create course here haven't got any categories yet so I'm going to create a new category and going to select a new teacher and the name of course so here is our new course so we can come into options and we can share and embed it into websites. We can duplicate it, we can edit it and delete it, or we can view the live site by clicking open. So if we click edit, you can change the category. And an open course means basically they're not required to register, so it's open to anyone. And again, the registration closed is the opposite. So you can say how long it's gonna take for the workload. Uh, you can change the copyright text and you can set the pass mark for the final test. So here's where I can create modules. You can have different modules for, say, one for the site builder, one for mailing boss and so on and so forth if you were creating a course on Builderall. So if I create a module, 
and then that's going to have a blank module then you need to edit it and rename it so you can say module one change the description and then the test type by percent or by value and once you've done that you can come to lessons and start adding lessons into the module so it's in module one lesson one and here's the different types of content that you can put in to the e-learning so you can have youtube vimeo and upload and it is um, encrypted when you upload it so it's secure and difficult for people to download and you can also use amazon html page html code pdf document image slide share or soundcloud you can set the level so if it's simple middle or difficult then you can set the duration so if it's 10 minutes you can require a user to watch 10 minutes of it before they can skip to the next video you can also enable or disable comments and you can require a test after the lesson before they proceed to the next lesson and then you can just add a little description here so then we can set the test the test questions you can have multiple choice or type in uh, answers then here you can see all of your users and export them into a mailing boss list if you want to you can set your faqs for your test uh, for your modules sorry for your courses sorry then here you can change the theme so this is the default theme if we come back into courses here and go to open you can see this is the default theme that we've got and all the options so just in a few clicks you can create your very own course with pass marks and everything pretty cool um, so come back into edit you can see all of the different themes that there are available there's a number of different themes that you can use and you can even customize the colors and fonts yourself so you can also translate it into a number of different languages and there's also another way you can translate here where you can translate it into any language by just typing your own translations so here you can publish stuff to the e-learning community which is the community of the business community inside builder all and here you can just add some extension codes for the um, pages so here you can review your test results you can see the teachers and this is where you put translation so you can create translations and change it to whatever you want you could even create your own entire language if you wanted to and put it in that language so truly any language you want to put in there you can translate it to so that's pretty much it for the e-learning so the next one is the script generator a script generator takes a while to set up but once it's set up and you've defined your avatar for the first time it doesn't take as long now this is literally invaluable if you're not good at copywriting because you can set up your avatar so who you want to speak to so you can set it as a uh, man in his mid 30s who works a nine to five or you can set it up as a lady in her 20s who uh, is an entrepreneur and so on and so forth so once you've set up your avatar you can come in to generate script and there's literally scripts for almost any kind of niche and if we come into here you can see there's all sorts of different scripts so there's webinar scripts advertising scripts headline scripts all sorts of stuff and then if we come even further you can get scripts for squeeze pages long form sales letters so literally whatever you're doing whether you want a script for a video for what you're going to say or whether you want a full sales page you can create it here in the script generator so really powerful tool here the next tool we're going to go on to and quite possibly the most integral one of most funnels is social proof so social proof if you don't know is that little box that pops up on the bottom of websites when someone's entered their info or when someone's bought a product so again a really simple tool a lot of these are really simple tools but really effective in marketing campaigns so to start this off we're going to create a campaign test campaign and we can set it to either e-learning or the contact form and email form in the drag and drop site builder so we're going to grab the domain and by default it will choose someone's gravatar or avatar from the gravatar website 
to display here. But if they haven't got one set, you can choose a default image to show here. So all this you don't need to worry about. Obviously, the mobile devices, you can enable pop-up. Show more button is if you want to show a list of all the users who signed up instead of just a pop-up. So we can leave all that as it is. And the translation tab is if you want to put it into another language, you can just change it to different languages to show up. You can view a list of your clients here. So all we need to do is grab the code. So this is the data collection code. So this should go on the page where your email marketing form is. And this code should go on the page where you want it to display. So if you want it to both display and collect, you want both of these codes on the same page. And this is the code for the table. If you set in the last menu for it to pop up a list, this is the code that you want to put in the HTML. So we're going to copy the data collection, come back into the head scripts. Most of them are in the head script. And I'm going to delete the share locker one so that doesn't keep popping up. So now I'm going to save and I'm going to put an email marketing form on here. So configure change the URL save So now we come back to the website, input our email, and it's going to take us to the home page. Now if we come back onto here, refresh, you can see that we've got a client, Jet32123 from Ely. So now if we go back on the web page that will pop up at the bottom just behind me there we go jet32123 from Ely and you can see that all these apps aren't really slowing down the page very much everything's loading well and everything's working properly the roulette is a pretty cool tool that's not been out too long it takes a little bit of setting up so I'm not going to go through it all but basically you can put a roulette wheel as a exit pop-up on a website where you're selling products and you can set it to give them a certain discount when it spins and whatever it lands on so you can do like five percent off ten percent off twenty percent off three percent off whatever or um, a load of different um, prizes so you can set that and then you can grab a coupon code if you've got coupon codes from Amazon or something like that you can put that in there or you can use the coupon code generator inside the actual website builder so if you come here you can manage your action uh, sorry coupons configuration so you can add a list of coupons and then you can actually plug them in to the uh, coupon generator here and it will give them a certain coupon when they opt in so each you can hook it up to mailing boss and when they opt in it gives them a unique code or you can just have a blanket code that everyone can use and the Builder or Zap, you haven't really got to worry too much about. That's to send out SMS through WhatsApp. And the Video Wrappers, another cool little tool. So you can wrap text across the... You can wrap images and text across your videos. So if you're putting a YouTube video, you see those videos with text and banners across the top. So you can do that with the Video Wrapper. And the Instagram autoresponder is pretty cool as well, but you need a business Instagram account to be able to run it. So I haven't hooked that up yet myself. It's not essential to build in a strong online presence right now. So that's why we're going through the main ones. The SMS tool is another new tool, so you can send text messages out to people and hook, hook up all the integrations with text. So you have to buy credits in order to be able to send SMS. I think it's like 0.01 
pence per text or something like that. So now we've covered most of the apps, we're going to get into the webinar platform. The webinar platform is a relatively new tool, but you can use it to run automated webinars, live webinars, and even meetings. So it's an alternative to Zoom, it's an alternative to Webinar Jam, it's an alternative to all of those other webinar tools, which is really cool, especially considering you get it with the $49 a month plan. So we come in here, we create new webinar and we name our webinar webinar and our webinar description. And we can protect it with password if we want certain people to only come in. So um, if we're holding a meeting and we only want so many panelists, we can protect it with password. So now we can edit the name, description, the link, the recorded link and everything else like that. We can schedule the content so we can stream it. We can disable the controls so it looks like just a simple video without the controls. We can select where it comes from. You can have it from YouTube, iframe, straight from the computer, record with webcam or build rule or with my recorded webinars and then you can stream it to the live builder all webinar so the streaming tool is really cool you can stream it live and you can schedule it for how many minutes you want it you can have it on demand you can start it by a button or start by time so if you want to run an automated webinar every 15 minutes or every 30 minutes you can do that and one of the really powerful things is the ability to have a ghost audience. Now, what that means is it looks like people are commenting on your webinar, but it's actually a ghost pre-recorded audience that you set. So you can set 10 users, you can set 100 users, but you can set someone to comment at five minutes in saying, oh, wow, awesome, and set their username and add it. So it looks like you've got loads of users on. It looks like it's live. You can respond to the comments in there um, when it looks like live and make it look live to people when it's actually not. Um, completely up to you whether you want to do that, where you stand on an ethical standpoint for doing that. But I'm just saying the option is there. So the chat is a really cool tool to make it look like it's live when it's not. You can have it as pre-moderation if someone wants to moderate the chat so there's no trolls no abusive language and stuff so it has to be moderated before the chat messages come in you can save the history of the chat and go through it later and you can clear the comments every 24 hours so they don't build up and build up and build up and build up um, here you'll see the statistics of the webinar and everything after the webinar is completed then there's mailing boss so the uh, integration key that we were talking about earlier this is where you can integrate mailing boss to have it send out reminders 15 minutes before days before so on and so forth and follow up with people who watched a certain percentage of the webinar who didn't turn up at all etc etc and this comes into the mailing boss tracking as well and you can also translate it into whatever language you want because you can put in the translation manually yourself so that's how you set all that up and you can integrate it straight into the webinar tool that I showed you in the builder earlier. Or if you have HTML, you can integrate it into anywhere. So really awesome webinar tool. Can't believe it's in included in the price. Absolutely crazy value. So the next tab is special add-ons. So the special training I don't think this account has access to it. It was a special one-off training that Eric ran a while ago. And you had to pay, I think it was $100 for it. It was really awesome training, but I don't think he's selling it anymore. So the next one is Inbox Path, which is a list cleaning and uh, email cleaning tool. And so Tell Us Promo is a uh, review tool, Google uh, review tool, which is really awesome. And then uh, there's traffic that you can get as well. So the next one we're going to go through is the marketplace. So yeah, just as I thought, the builder or training is no longer available. So the next one is the marketplace, and that's a full marketplace. It's comparable to JVZoo, 
uh, Clickbank and stuff like that. So you can upload your own products, your eBooks, your digital products, stuff like that, and recruit affiliates. And it's just one big marketplace where people can buy and where people can sign up to be affiliates for your stuff. So really, really awesome. And here's all the tutorials and training. I think to date they have like over 500 video tutorials for all of the tools and all the ins and outs. So you're never going to get lost. You're never going to um, struggle for finding help because, well, it's right here. We click the uh, help button here. We've got the webinar general overview and then you can view all the tutorials. But this is where all of the tutorials and training is right here in this tab here. So the next tab we've got is builder or business. And this has quite a few tabs as well and it's now free to sign up as an affiliate so you can sign up as an affiliate and uh, get access to the builder or business tab right here you also get a free seven days whenever you sign up for an affiliate um, account as well so you'll get seven days free to use the tool so the first tab we've got here is the dashboard and that gives you information about your business how many people you've got signed up and uh, progress how many second tier signups you've got and all of that good stuff the next tab we've got is money making funnels and this shows you all of the funnels that are available to be promoted right now so you've got your main home page funnel you've got your seven day free trial funnel you've got your seven day free trial sign up page all the checkout pages you have also what's known as um, niche funnels so if we come down here we can see all the different niche funnels there's the beauty salon there's the fitness funnel there's chiropractors dentists and accounting so all sorts of different funnels that you can use to promote to all sorts of different people and i know they're always adding more as well so um, keep an eye on this area for any new funnels that are being released and up here we can view the categories so if we've got the uh, normal funnels the checkout pages niche funnels and also the open funnels so if a user creates a funnel which build rule thinks is awesome they'll ask if they can use it and then the user gets paid a dollar per month per sign up of people who go through that funnel now the redirect link is a really cool tool i use it for a lot of promotions but you can put in any link here pretty much and use it as your affiliate link so the way i used to use it is with a facebook group there was a really cool builder all facebook group and it had a load of cool value and i put a post on facebook saying check out this really cool group it's got so much value in there i can't believe it and then i'd copy the group link i'd put it in here and send and it would give me that as an affiliate link and i'd send that affiliate link out people would sign up through that link they'd get cookied to my link and um, they'd see all the cool value from builder all in there they'd search for builder all or they'd go uh, click the builder all links in the builder all groups and i would get the sign up for it so there's hundreds of different ways you can use this if you use your imagination i'm sure you can come up with some really awesome ways to get some more people to click on your link with this redirect tool really really awesome um, so you can use the shorter url as well i wouldn't recommend using that because google um, has discontinued their link shortener and um, they're also not too fond of affiliate links as well you can connect your own domain so instead of having the builder all domain you can have your own domain and then you can check the propagation status of your domain and any domains that you're using and then once you've connected domains you can access the emails as well um, the next tab has your earnings so this shows you how much money you've made how much money you've got pending it allows you to request your money you can fill in your tax forms and it shows you a breakdown of all of the people who have bought through your link uh, the leads tree shows you all of the people in your network so all the way down even though you only get paid in two tiers at the moment it shows you everyone in your network all the way down to infinity it doesn't show their emails but it shows you who they are uh, their name what their um, status is and so on and so forth so uh, then you've got your leads and the, your leads areas where people's emails names and stuff for people who've signed up under your link you can also add an email sequence to be sent out from mailing boss 
for people who sign up so they can automatically be added to one of the mailing boss uh, lists when they sign up here you can also download the list to uh, upload somewhere else if you want to the message center is really cool you can use that to reach out to your leads so you can reach out to individual leads people who are just in test people who have bought people who are business owners etc etc so that's really cool and the training is a really awesome addition to the build rule business area so there's basic intermediate and advanced and you can access basic after i think uh, you can access basic straight away sorry you can access intermediate after three sales and advanced after 10 sales i think but it's step-by-step -step training on affiliate marketing and how to get more sales and then we have the business community which is really awesome there's loads of people contributing really cool courses and stuff on chatbots stuff on uh, all the tools stuff on business itself affiliate marketing all sorts of cool stuff the community is adding and that's one thing that i love about builder i think more than anything i mean the tools are awesome but the community is what makes it for me the community's helped me uh, a heck of a lot and i just love the community so much um so the weekly webinars what they have every monday and it's streamed into this area here if you want to ask any questions this is the area that gets watched it's also streamed on youtube but this is the area that gets watched and get your questions answered um, this area here is where you put your pixel and any other tracking code so if you want to put your facebook pixel or a pop-up for a chat bar or anything else like that that will then appear across all of these pages for you so that's really really awesome um, then you've got your tax forms obviously self-explanatory the event calendar which is got uh, weekly meeting schedules um, events and stuff like that on there and then we've got the elements which just basically has all of the text um, pictures business cards and any other elements that you can use to promote on your own site so the next tab is the tickets area. This is where you can get some help from support. You put in a ticket, they usually answer within a few hours, but it can be a day sometimes if um, it's on a weekend or a holiday or something like that. Then you've got the legacy here, which is the old responsive blog builder, which is not gonna be updated, not gonna be used anymore, and it's very, very old blog builder. Um, you've got the earnings calculator for the business. So how many people can you bring in? How many people uh, can your tier tier one sell and so on and so forth? And then you've got the certified partners list. So we click on the certified partners list. We've got all of the certified partners so far. I think there may be a hundred so far. I'm not quite sure. and then you can get live support here as well there's ticket support and there's live support as well so here's the certified by builder all partners and there's me world's first builder all certified partner so you can click on any of the images here um, the buttons here sorry and view people's um view people's profiles and see what they can do for you so yeah there's quite a lot of um, quite a lot of certified partners and they're all very professional they know what they're doing so yeah the support is here so we click on support we can get actually get live support which is awesome uh, the tickets is for slower support non more non urgent matters and my internet is really slow at the moment I don't know what's going on with it so there we go you can click and see if you can solve it on your own and if you can't solve it on your own then you'll be able to get in contact with live support i think we've covered pretty much everything we went through the builders we went through the autoresponder went through all sorts of stuff and i think we're pretty much finished that was definitely my longest video so if you've made it all the way to the end listen to me droning on for an hour about builder or congratulations <laughs> um, i will be putting a timestamp down in the description so you don't have to watch the entire thing um, if you just want to get a bit of an info and insight on just one of the tools or a couple of the tools i'll be putting a timestamp down there so i hope this has given you a bit more of an insight and an overview of what build rule is and how you can use it in your business i love build rule i use it for pretty much everything 
So even if you just use a couple of the tools, it's literally worth that on its own. I mean, like I said, to get a webinar platform, you're looking at, at least $97 a month most of the time. To get a Facebook chatbot with unlimited subscribers that you can connect to unlimited pages, you're looking at at least $50 to $100 a month. So to have all of these unlimited tools inside, it's it's crazy value. Like I can't even think of a word strong enough. It's it's inconceivable value. It's it really is. The amount of stuff that you can do and the amount of value that is being given is second to none. I really cannot think of anything which delivers more value than Builderall. And I dare you to try and find something that delivers more value than Builderall. Uh there, I said it. <laughs> um so yeah. I think that's everything that I wanted to cover and I hope that you can start using the tools and fall in love with Builderall as much as I have. If you have any questions, want to, want any help getting started or want any specific instructions on anything, reach out to me, more than happy to help. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed it, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, keep abreast of my new videos. And I will see you again soon. Thanks for watching.